Hello fellow beings of Miller and welcome to the ninth Angmar episode. We're crushing the Dwarven armies. Uh, they only killed 11% of us and it's only a matter of time before the last general is down and we have taken out a settlement in the north uh, and it's almost at Thorchel itself. Lost 178, we killed 1500 about dwarves almost. That's very, very well. And the dwarves' resistance has failed. And if you remember correctly, we do have some other armies pushing. So it's going to be very interesting to see today if we can actually bring down Ered Luin uh, in one episode. I think it's possible, but we'll have to see because the Doomstack army will probably be quite difficult to beat down. And we do want to actually attack these settlements today to see some real action. And of course the dwarves still hold a lot of settlements around down in the south. So it might become uh, quite difficult. But we took out Garth Heligoth now. There we go. That's the settlement's name. The settlement has fallen. Take the now the faction guide for Gondor was up yesterday. And I'm really happy about it. Of course, it's the faction I'm most familiar with, so it should be quite easy. However, the next um, faction guys is going to be more difficult for me. Uh, for example, the Northern Duna, I've never played them, like, fully. I'm very much looking forward to playing them one day, but that will probably be for the next update when the Reunited Kingdom script is in place. But I am considering doing it in this version as well. I'll have to think about it. Baldrim is coming now. And Lord Skilled was just trying to make these guys uh, sally out. Ah, Witch King took this place. Now what? That would be very useful actually. Baldrim, yeah. Let's just send out these guys. Ah, the catapult. We can get the catapult uh, in not too long. That's cool. We're just going to get some culture up here. It's already 12%, so it's not too bad, actually. Yes. Let's just leave a couple of conscripts. Let's see if they're going to be mad, but not that mad. And we do have more forces incoming. So we're good to go. These guys could probably just go into Garth Helgoth. Now, things down here, they are doing nicely at the moment. We do want a Great Hall to lower our expenses. So let's just go for that. After a while. Today, hopefully, we can see some new units because we are building. Oh, it's actually done building. Wow! We can get these guys now. Excellent. Finally, we can recruit these elites and they only take one turn to recruit. Now, let's get the army barracks so that we can get the North Guard and the Dark Blades. That's very cool. And we do have a lot of money now. Uh, these new settlements will definitely add some money to our settlements. Now I'm thinking about preparing an army and take out Gundabad because I want some snow trolls boys. I want some real snow trolls. However I want these settlements to be prepared in case um, the Orcs of the Misty Mountains decides to attack us. We have filled up the forge so that's very nice. Finastrunin, we do have some more wards here. We actually got a new general here. I suppose we could send him somewhere. This army is is going to cause some income losses for us. But I don't think we have the capacity to take them down at the moment. Now let's get this place upgraded. We want some more population here. In Bree, let's build some shit here as well. Ah, uh, the culture is actually very good now. That's very fortunate for us. Let's get to the barracks here. In Hobbiton. We're just barely grasping this place. We're already building shit here. And we are prepared in case the dwarves decide to come. Let's just get rid of some of those units. Let's fill up this fort as well. Okay, we can't recruit just yet. We're building in most places now though, so that's very, very, very good. Now, I guess we could use more wargs in the front. Uh, let's get the catapult now. That would be cool. Uh, mining network, it doesn't actually bring that much, to be honest. Pretty bad mine. 
Uh, let's just get this one for 40 more income. Uh, it's definitely not worth it. I'll just get a town guard be able to recruit more. Oh, we can now recruit these guys. Rudar Haskas and Rudar Warriors. Let's get them. Let's just stack up this fort here. We actually have a lot of units here now. Harald. That's a very Norwegian name, to be honest. Wait, wait, where is our diplomat? We need to find him and we need to break the alliance with Gundabad. I think it could be cool to bring them down Your and just start another front to make it a, lit, a little bit Tomorrow's more plan. Uh, Stopping complex here. for us. Because this has been so easy campaign. Just way too easy. Alright, Drangu. You should probably head... Yeah, we hold this region now. What can we leave behind this guy? No, we need to leave behind a bit more. They're fine for the time being. Now, we're going to head straight for the capital. Which... Is completely empty, but at least we have an army that we can that we can fight them inside yes. the settlement. An order. We shall slaughter them, my lord. All right, and then you go down here. As you command, nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. Thorin's falls soon to fall. Lands, they just have no resistance here at all. An order. Now, what happens if we... Oh, we didn't bring a ram. That's so stupid. Alright, let's... Um, you guys could probably just stay where you are at the moment. I'm hoping that Balin will actually attack Lord Skilled. And these guys will then come in as reinforcements. Let's see how that works out. Still have eight grand that we can just use on whatever we want. Are we building shit everywhere? Yeah, we're building in most places. It looks like even here. The reason I want to take down Gundabad is so that we can get some snow trolls. I want to get some trolls in this overpowered legion that we are about to get. Ah, uh, geez, these guys will be a nice addition to our army. Now we don't have free upkeep in all our units, let's just place them in the forge. And from now on, when we can, we should only recruit the real elites that we can. Let's get the bags here in the next turn. And we are, yeah. I'm just double checking these places. Alright, let's just uh, bring another turn. But Eredor has soon completely fallen to our arms. It remains to be seen how long I will continue this campaign though, but I definitely want to see all the units that Angmar has to offer, and I want to... We should probably at least take down Lothlorien. Um, yeah. I will probably, like, we just have to see how it goes. These goblins are very close to Aimladris, and it's kind of sketchy. Like, you never know when they could want to backstab us. Just look at them, they're like stacking up around the Mladris. Gondor, what are you doing? Trying to bribe us? We bring word. <laughs> Trade rights? No, no. Very well. You fool. To you. You're the enemy of Sauron, our great lord. But the Witch King himself could possess so much power. That he could be, probably be able to take over the rule. I'm just kidding. That would never happen. But all right, we're just going to ignore that invasion. Mount Graham stables. All right, let's. Was it here? Yeah. No, it was here, wasn't it? There we go. Mount Graham Marauders and Mount Graham Raiders. This is Drangus bodyguard, and this unit we haven't seen before. I think they're very good though, considering how good just these units are. Just imagine these guys. I mean these guys. Wow, they got a lot more charge. That's so nice. 
Our diplomat is on his way. Now this army, this guy, needs to go all the way up here to not get targeted by Hirgon. The Minion of Isengard and Clans of Enerwyth, that will just favor us. Enerwyth now holds this place actually. Now let's get one more unit inside here. And let's just get rid of some of these. I guess the pikeman is useful. It's not too long until we can start recruiting some battle whites. Yeah, the dwarves don't seem to push out for this settlement now. Let's get these guys and send these two to the fort, or I'm at this fort. Okay, let's start sieging out Thorin Souls. Nothing shall escape your notice. They actually have a solid garrison now. And it still remains to be seen if these guys can actually bring down. And they're probably going to get a large garrison as well. But uh, we could siege them out and send some more units down, probably. Now the other army actually buggered off, as far as I can see. I'm not entirely sure where he went either. An order. Move! As you command. Oh yeah, they hold that region, of course. Yes. Here. Nothing shall escape your notice in these no, lands. I had no idea where he went. But let's just send these guys with Drangu. And we're going to start going for Peth and Loon with Drangu. Now, did we actually bring a uh, ram this yes. time? Moving to crush oh, the enemy. Jeez, we forgot it again. War, this is so stupid. The siege goes as planned, my lord. Let's just do it with one army and we're just going to bring them down in the next turn. Only a matter of time until the That wasn't begins. time wasted to be honest. Now, Legio X Y Condum Iron Crown Hall Halbert. Iron Crown Wars. This is the unit I'm looking most forward to using. Just look at them. Two handers. That's so incredible. Let's send them to the forge. Which nice, yeah. It will be nice to get this one done so that we can get the North Guard and the Dark Blades. Next here we should probably yeah just upgrade those barracks. Now here I probably want to go for a Royal Hall. Oh, we can actually recruit these guys here as well. Let's just get them and exchange them for these guys. Just so that we have some better units to be able to defend this place when it's necessary. And yeah, we can get the North Guard here as well. A Royal Hall though would be very useful. And it's going to take 9 turns. Wow. We have even built the... No, it doesn't look like we have started a mason hall. Um, yeah, we probably have it just kind of blind here. Alright, let's just go for... Um, I'll go for the... Yeah, let's just go for the royal hall. We'll need some more upkeep here. Grain exchange, just get more money. Azul can't do anything at the moment. These places are fine. Let's get the Mount Graham stables after this one. And here we should probably get the garrison quarters so that we can start recruiting better units here as well. Now some towers around there would be quite uh, useful. It will be an honor defeating you. Let's get these guys to the forts. That's probably it. Uh, yeah. Let's just. Where's our diplomat though? He's probably on his way. Yeah. So, not even in the 17th turn, and Ered Lewin is on its brink of destruction. We should just get Mithlon as soon as we can after we have taken down the Dwarves of Edelune. And to be honest, we have the armies. They're like, these armies are like barely touched. 
they have not taken many losses at all simply because <laughs> the dwarves haven't offered any challenge at all they're actually sending some army towards the witch king which is nice if we could get a sell out that would be more useful however i still want to see these battle maps because we just haven't been able to see those bat battle maps a lot thorin's falls assaulted don't often see oh if we take mitchell delving we'll get one of the best units available that's cool Kai Anders has actually fallen now now this trash can just be sent to the next fort i suppose Dominion of Isengard and Woodland Realm, wow. Isengard must be doing very good. Ah, in Barkeleg we now got these new units. And here we have the Iron Crown Longbowmen. Now I suppose we could send some of these guys to the fort. Let's send these guys to the fort. Got the barracks in Camethrin as well now. Yeah, we're going to get these elites a lot of places now. Let's get the Hillman barracks as well. Faction announcement, evil army scroll, Litash. Soon we'll have these monsters. Let's just send these guys down here as well. I'm tired of this crap, I want some real elites now. I just want elite armies. These guys over here will just have to fight until their deaths and just get rid of the trash, but eventually we'll not have any trash left. Lothar, not able to do anything over here. Now let's get Fam get all down. Uh, it's only Ka Clan Herald Grain, but he got a very interesting unit and we'll get to see the battle map. So I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, we're here boys, Fam Gathol. Now we finally get to take a look at Lord's Guild. Ah, the Dark Blades is the elite arch unit. Let's look at the stats. Six missile attack, that's pretty nice. 14 total defense, also quite alright. Eight armor? Yeah. I, I really gotta see these guys in action before I can judge them. But uh, they look like a very nice unit, of course. Now this map looks... wow. That was really fancy. And it's actually... it gives me... Very blue dwarven kind of vibes. Alright, let's try to take a look at these guys if we can. Oh, it's very buggy around here. Alright, I'm actually not able to take a look at them from this point of view. Yeah, I think this is going to be a bit challenging. Let's take a look. There we go. These marksmen are... I, th I, think, I think they have the furthest range. Or they're the f furthest or the fastest fire rate. Something along those lines. We'll have to take a look at them when we approach them. But they're definitely a very good crossbow unit. Now to bring them down, we'll just have to surround them completely. Uh, I'll probably see you on the other end. Because it's just a very long walk. So I'll see you there. Alright boys, we're back. I just want to take a look at these Broadby Marksmen. They have indeed one of the furthest range for crossbowmen. And just look at this. 14 missile attack. Like, that's just god level. That's two more missile attacks than Saruman. That's up with the Noldorin elves. Like, these guys are monsters. If you play as the Dwarves of Erdluin, just use these guys and you'll be very, very <laughs> fine. I'm, I'm just sending this, this Hillman unit just to occupy them so that they can't shoot our units because they're going to be such a deadly unit. Now let's, let, let's get Lord Skilled over there. And probably let's get all right. You are not supposed to go for those. Let's just completely surround these guys with multiple units. It will be interesting to see how they perform. If they can get some shots in, they're probably going to slaughter whatever unit they are firing at. Let's hope they fire at these hillmen. Because otherwise we're going to lose way too many. Oh no, they're, they're probably targeting Lord Skill. That's going to be really bad. We was quite lucky to get a lot of the units out of the range. But you just see how they slaughtered us. They got almost all the units that they actually hit. Now just get these guys engaged in melee and it will be no problem. 
Let's get Lord Skill up here and start firing into their backs. And these guys as well. We're just going to start flanking this unit. And it's not really going to be much of a worth. But I just want to show you how powerful these broadbeam marksmen are. And it looks like they're, they're killing it in melee as well. Now you guys go, yeah. You'll probably just be needed at the front line to be honest. Now these guys, they have a very good defense. Uh, okay, attack and charge. But they're up with the Gondor and Spearman to be honest. That's not, really, uh, not, bad, not bad at all. But yeah, I will uh, I will see you after this battle. Just one more thing, these guys don't perform very well in melee, it looks like. At least when they're surrounded like now, they are getting shredded apart. They kind of ra ran through this unit, and it was no biggie though. But they, will de they can definitely be uh, killed off if they are surrounded. Uh, because, let's just take a look at their stats again. Yeah, the defense is only 16, and that's not very good for a dwarven elite unit and their grain goes down that's very nice now we'll have this settlement and the blue dwarves the dwarves are doing this now kind of fucked to be honest sorry for language it's just how i express myself it's a bad habit but it happens now this looks like the burning of the westfold this kind of maze wielding Weird thingy. I don't like that, but otherwise it's a very nice picture. Alright, alright. Thamgathol. Let's occupy and just get 6,000 straight out of it. They have the mining complex, that's why it's so wealthy. And they have a lot of free upkeep as well, it looks like. Alright, uh, we could probably go all the way around with these guys. Can we go around here? Uh, we need to leave some more units. Let's just merge these guys. Let's bring some more healing on left behind. Uh, it actually looks like we... Yeah, we're going to need a lot of skill in there. But we can send these guys. Uh, they're probably going to start... We need some general over here as well. Where's our generals? Uh, Harald, you're way over here. And Hunwan, you're down here. Wait, we had some general over here. Let's try to find him. There you go, Maeolos. Let's just send him all the way over here. It's good to take a long while, but we can send some more units into there. Drango is fine for the time being. Let's take a look at this settlement. They will get a very solid garrison. And there's actually no way we can do this. I'm going to start continue sieging them out, uh, give them some units from Drango's army, or perhaps these guys, and we'll have to take a look at the siege because we do want to see some siege battles, even though it's not the prof most profitable. I'll have to do it for you guys because I know you you want some real action here. So let's let's get that done, shall we? All right, let's in Litash. One more turn. Just get the mason there. All right, so these three units. I'm just going to abandon them for now. We just want to replace all bad units with good units in settlements now. Like, why not? It's going to be much more clean. Fenas Drunin. We can get the Rudar Haskals from here as well. Now, we are going to backstab Gundabad. We'll have to see what the Misty Mountains does about it. But we can definitely meet both enemies. We do have very much money now. And we're just going to get even more when we take these wealthier provinces. Alright, let's send another turn. Let's hope they don't rebel any of these places. I believe you could definitely... Oh, they actually sell it out. Alright, <laughs> I will take the battle then. Right, there's just no reason to not take this battle.
We are going to see the battles for Lindon and such. That's a bummer, but uh, like we can't just deny and not take Thorin Souls now. We are going to see some Gabil Gathol. Oh, they just have a normal bodyguard. No, they actually have a Gabil Gathol guard, not to Monsahar nobles. Just looks very even. All right, uh, I will see you on the battlefield because we're going to watch this battle with Clan Lord Gord just. There he goes to the Barrow Whites. I was actually recording this battle, but I just figured out it was very, very boring. So I just decided to postpone the recording and just just bring them down off camera. Like they had the Gabil Gathol Guard, they're quite a nice unit, but they're nothing. Like they're just an elite dwarven unit with a lot of farmer and a great attack. But that's it, basically. Witch King just getting thousands of kills, to be honest. So yeah, we have captured Thorin's Halls now, and there should spawn a Doomstack now. So we want to make sure that we send down a proper army uh, to defend against that army. Because it would be b very cool to defend Thorin's Halls. So let's hope that we can trigger some Doomstack army. That would be awesome. Ah, there you have actually an army up there. Let's just sack the settlement. We'll get a lot of money once again. And we're going to earn 2,500 more a turn. And go Husanor as well. It looks pretty... The income just bounced up. We're actually bordering Lyndon now. This is cool. It's just time to push on against Lyndon when we can. I'm always thinking about that they're going to attack him ladders when they walk past him ladders. A sketchy run. Clan leader of Blue Mountains is dead. Thorin's Hall's plundered. Let's bring down this one. Let's get this up. Practice range. doesn't actually say that we can recruit anything from this so I think yeah, it's just a dwarven range or something and of course we don't actually have a practice range so I suppose we can just bring it down Durin Sports Hall that looks like a very nice building but we're going to bring it down we have 33,000 what the sh... yeah that's just crazy An order. Let's build a watchtower over here. The Rusanur needs a couple more units. Alright, that's fine. Now we want to send more units over here. Yeah, they're fine now. And you guys just go to Drangu. Oh, actually, was there some kind of general around here? I believe there was, but I can't really see any anyone. Ah, we got the Mount Graham Raiders. We got a lot built now. Trade increase. Mission failed. Most advanced, we're the most advanced faction. That's cool. Now for Hamgathol. Could probably leave these units. Yeah. Let's put them in Gohosanar. And you guys are headed down to Thorns Halls. Drango. Feel free to build watch towers. And feel free to take on the new capital of Eridluin, Peth and Loon. It looks like it covers a large region. Mitchell Delving, let's just take a quick look out here. Ah, yeah, this is Dwarven territory. Let's hit them and start hitting Realm of Lindon. Yegalut. Thirty-three thousand, yeah. Barracks. Let's get them. Let's get more wargs. We just want to stream into the lands of Lindon. Raketa. Hillman camp and some mines after that, please. Forty thousand. Jeez, oh, we're making so much money. As you wish. Yeah. Continuing tomorrow. 
in Ladris. Let's get rid of some of these Angmarium infantry. Actually, these guys are Legio 5. I rather want the Legio 3. Nice, Kameth Brim doing fine. Marathath. In Litash, we got these monsters now. It's going to be so nice seeing them in battle. Definitely looking forward to that. Now, these guys will go into Fort. There's no doubt that Angmar can be a very easy, easy faction. Which Knights? Uh, yeah, we actually need another general, to be honest. Let's just check that we are building stuff everywhere. In these settlements, definitely. Uh, Killman camp, sure. Alright, Azul can't upgrade, can't. Oh, yeah, we can actually finally upgrade Theodolin. That's nice. Finastrunian, let's get the armor next. Black iron plate, that's beautiful. Yeah, I went through these places already. Let's end the turn again. Which king is just going to stay here in case these guys attack? I believe it's only Lindon and there's some settlement over here. And there's one over here. And they're probably hauled in Bosra Doom as well. Uh, Western and Eastern, they hold some region over here as well. Go no further today, my lord. My lord. Yeah, we need more units here, Sap. We are sending more, aren't we? Where did all the of the? Oh yeah, they joined here, of course. This army is like perfectly made for the dwarves. So like two units, three units, which is not perfectly made for them. I'm almost tempted to just go straight for for Mithalon with these guys. And we are of course already at war with Grey Havens of Lindon, so let's just go at Mi Mithalon already. Why not? That would be such a nice... Performing that in this, uh, this episode would be awesome. And that title would really just... Get the attention of all of you guys watching. Mithron sacked. Oh yeah, they're actually going to th attack Garth Heligoth. The enemy has surrounded us. We are uh, now we have to send some units back. That sucks. I don't know how big or large that army is. That could potentially be the Doomstack army. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just check. I don't even know if Edeluin gets a Doomstack army, but I believe they do. Alright, settlement besieged. Let's uh, look at these guys. No, it's just Balrim. Are you kidding me? Wow. We could probably ta bring them down with the units we have there already. If these guys just stand back like here. Be fine. My lord. Captain Harik, just join over here. Let's merge some units, shall we? Great. Let's get rid of these eight. Kill me. Grey Havens. Ah, uh, they probably have some good units, so. But they don't really look prepared for us. Yega loot. Alright. Let's get. Let's just send an army down here now. Who no one could probably lead it. These guys need to go around though. Oh, that's super. I don't want to walk through Jundland Stance. They're going to start attacking us. Yeah, we're just already hitting that super amount of money. Let's get the temple already. I look forward to your will, my lord. My lord. And as stupid as I was, I didn't see what buildings were finished. So I have to check once again. Order. 
East Gash is going to the Forge. Morathar. It's going to take a while. That's why we want to attack on the back. Where's our diplomat actually? Ah, he's closing up now, finally. As you wish. Now let's prepare an army. We're recruiting some witch knights here, so we'll be okay. Let's get these guys. Let's get a couple of wargs. Let's get some elites. Some ballistas would be nice. Let's get the ballista, just so we can bring them down in one turn. Let's get a lot of cavalry. And of course we have these guys. Yeah, we're going to have a nice army. Can we recruit more of those Huskals? Yeah, let's get them. Let's get them going. Let's get some pikes as well. Let us settle, my lord. Yes. As you wish, my lord. Not long until we can start getting the Barrowites. Fenocer is sitting nicely. Ah, and the wife is crushing them, and that's nice actually. I want to bring down both of those factions with some real elites. Now, just another end turn, I believe. Should probably sell out. Ah, they got the merchant cavalry. That's such a bummer. That's going to be. Some problems in our plans. We'll just have to do this battle. It will not become any easier. So it's just to face it already. I'll just fight them off camera and I'll be right back. We are losing this battle. These merchant cavalry is just way too powerful. They're actually very, very decent cavalry units. Not to be uh, underestimated. They have such high armor stats. Like 12 armor or and 14 total defense. So they could, they're probably a pretty nice unit. I've never tried using them. These elves looks like from the first stage. I don't know what else it should have been. Does anyone in the chat know, or uh, in the chat watching this video, does anyone know what this attack is? All right, they're actually just sieging out an empty army by now. Yeah. They did pretty well in that battle, didn't they? Get ready for fighting. <laughs> Bring this back to us. No be short process. Yes. That's it, end the turn. Garth Heligoth is theirs. Now we want to just rush for Mithron. Just should we take out Perth and Rune? Probably it would be smart. But it would be quite cool to see Mithron fall in this in this episode. Let's see what these dungeon landings want now. Probably an alliance. No. I just like that the end wife and then keep fighting off. Then we can just come in and snatch one of them when we want. No big deal. But the uh, Orcs of Gundabad will soon no longer allies and the Gundabad will fault us and the snow trolls will march out of our lands. An order. Let's see, what do they got? One unit of Eredwin Pikemen. A lot of shit had just happened. Let's just leave. Uh, hopefully, one unit of these and one unit of these should be completely fine. Yeah, they will not hold out for very long. Drango, oh, they're already on their way, aren't they? Lindar Mariners and Teleri Guards. Uh, this is not the usual crap we're used to. Let's get them, boys. Now, just having our army inside Thorin Souls is not going to do anything. On the other hand, we can just send... Oh, they're actually going to be quite happy, aren't they? Let's head out for the settlement. Alright, we just abandon you. And you guys, you gotta wait for 
this reinforcement. Now down here we want to start attacking them from the other side. Oh jeez, oh, that's going to hurt our reputation once again. Well, it does not matter. Soon they will no have longer have these lands. Not long until we can get those parawets. Let's see up here. Yeah, we're having these units now. Let's just wait for this general. And I think we can just... No big deal if we don't have free upkeep on these guys. We're <laughs> doing pretty alright. Now we probably need some more units. Want to get more of those works, they look very promising. Soon to be finished, alright, nice. You guys, yeah, you were headed down here. And who the one you can stack up with that army? As well as these guys. And that is it. Let's just bring these guys as well. And you will start taking down Mitchell Delving, which is probably a mission. Yeah, and we'll get one of the best units available. That's going to be nice. Because now we actually have some real elites. Alright, let's see how many units we can actually bring out of here. That's probably... Oh, it's actually going to be alright for now. But we'll probably need more there in the long run to be honest you guys go in there these guys as well that's probably fine or is it i don't know probably need more units there can we recruit any yeah soon all right these guys can also recruit let's just send these units over here just to have them there yeah, we need those guys in there. These guys go down here. Which king? Head into Lindong. Now, Heavy Master Kildan with his Mithril nobles are present. Just look at these stats, guys 24 attack and 38 defense. Wow. And they got Cinder Cavalry. Wow. It's going to be interesting taking them on. Now you should head out. Yes. Get out to Florence Halls now. You'll see Jao Drango. You'll be in Mithron in two turns. Wow. We could do an extra long episode and just get this done. We could also get the army. Oh no. Or oh, yes. It very much depends on what kind of force these guys got. Oh yeah, <laughs> this could potentially be a victory to Munsahar nobles. Heredloon pikemen. If we just bring down this unit very fast, it is doable. Even though it's going to be a real challenge to be honest. I will try it. Probably going to fail, but it's worth trying. It would be... Very glorious victory if we can pull it off. I'll try my best. Guess what general just went down boys. We already started the first army. And it looks like Perthandun, the new capital of the dwarves of Erdun, has fallen to the might of the Iron Crown. It looks like it's over for Eredor. There's no hope left. The only safe haven is Gondor. But how long will they hold when Sauron unleashes his real power with the One Ring? There's no doubt about that it, it is indeed the end of the freedom of the free peoples of Middle Earth. Right, these guys are giving us a go though. Let's try to win this. Certain not. Yeah, we did it. Health and Loon, our plan worked out perfectly. Battle of the Five Armies, Elves and Dwarves fighting together with the Dalesmen. Foul Orcs from the mountain ranges. 
and bats, many many bats. I don't like the depiction in the movies. It was too lore unfriendly. However, Peter Jackson did not have much time uh, creating the video, uh, the movies. Actually, it was Guillermo del Toro which initially had the project, and then Peter Jackson had to take over because there was some kind of I don't remember what happened, but he had to take over and he didn't have any time at all to fix things. And that's why The Hobbit wasn't as good as The Lord of the Rings. However, many people still like uh, The Hobbit. Because they got some nice action scenes, of course. But uh, in terms of quality, The Lord of the Rings is definitely better. What? Oh no, they have attacked us. Those stupid buggers. Alright, we'll have to deal with this rabble now. Uh, I'll just alter all this. It looks like war is on all sides. Eredluin, Lindon, Gundabad and Dunlendings, it shall be. Now they're probably going to head out for Hobbiton. Well, the dwarves of Eredluin will have to wait. Dunland will not fall. Those stupid buggers, they don't know that they're up against the Iron Crown which holds whole half of Eredor. Ah, that was... Oh, that's just so stupid. Alright, that's nice. Man of the hour. Yeah, you did very good in that battle. You will definitely get adopted. Yes. Oh, it wasn't here. Ah, nice. Improved relations that we definitely want. Gunderik, you go down here. Ah, oh, adoption is completed. Dunland is very poor. Yeah, we are at war. Alright, a lot of units recruited there. Evil armies grow. An order. Yes. I believe it's around it's here. Possible, my lord. Megildor. We'll oh, these guys. Every unit is just yes. so powerful. You An have order. no idea. Or you probably have an idea if you are lands, playing no. this mod. Yes. Mithron. Ah, Laogon, you fool. Move Can we get another Sally out here? Now we want to siege this place out. We need to siege this place out now. Dark Temple. Temple. Kohosanor. And you guys, you have come to... Save the day, haven't you? Bring down those buggers. Eugen. Tifra. Not Thrandosos. Now, you fool. You don't know what you're doing. You're going down, bitch. There we go. That's how we want to play. And now you're going to fall. Stupid buggers. Let's get you into this army. Let's merge the army. And, ah, Mithraith, you look so tasty. One general. One fool. Elder Guildsman. Oh, jeez, this is Enerwyth. We don't want to attack them just yet. Ah, no. Please. Okay, you guys are going down. Thildin, one more turn. Let's start getting this shit out. Agendar, you have some, some rabble to deal with. Let's get some Pascal, some real elites that Dundon just can't hold up against. Now Keloniak. Ah, the orcs hold this place, that's excellent. We want to hold this bridge. And Morholt is going to get some action. We haven't seen him for a long time. Or actually, Agendar, you are the real elite here. Let's get you down here. Oh, no. Let's just have him there. Them, Bree, let's get some units here as well. Let's just recruit it all over the line. And I don't really want to send these the guys out. Battle. They're going to get attacked. Now we have a new general here. Eogan. But Harald, isn't he... Ah, oh, Barry White. Isn't he in the family? Let's check here. This weird family tree <laughs> with, with the Witch King. Harald, no, you just recruited, aren't you? Well, Harald, yes, my lord. 
my Norwegian friend. Let's uh, let's go out. Good in the bad. It's going to fall in a swipe. These guys are ready. These guys are ready. And these guys are ready. Oh, just look at this army. It's going to be a nice army, guys. Let's perhaps get some more Iron Crown units. How long can, until four turns? Get some trash in there as well. Just to have someone to pull the... The ram, of course. Someone gotta pull the ram, of course. Alright, uh, let's... Yeah, I really want to... I really want to attack Lindon or Mithlon this turn. Ah, Barowetz. You are going to the new conquered lands in the northeast, northwest, my friend. Anaminas? No, nothing. Great Hall, let's get the barracks. Let's get some real elites out of this place. And let's start recruiting some more units here. Dunnan will definitely to crush, the enemy. Be crushed yes, for what they do. All right, let's end the turn. Yeah. An order. It's going to be a longer episode, I suppose. But sometimes, I know a lot of you guys love the uh, Remnants of Angmar campaign, so I'm going to give it a go this episode. But it's nice, finally going to meet some factions all over the place. Ah, what are you trying now? Ceasefire? No, you're not even trying to ceasefire, you fool. And Dunland is still fighting Endwife. They don't really know what they're doing, uh, do they? Just attacking me because they had an advantage against two of our trash units. They just thought, ah, we can loot those guys. Uh, well, now they're in trouble. All right, Captain Valayonen. Haven Master Kiradan is on its own. Isn't that a feisty target? However, I prefer Mithron. Now, these guys are probably... How many of these guys are there? Oh, Jesus. Oh, they, they can't really pull enough troops together, can they? Ah, Gonmudan. I'm not even going to care about you. Oh, jeez, these guys. Sindar Spearman. That's real... That's some real elites. Yeah, let's just stand on the bridge for now. A lot of shit just got built. Let's just hurry up. Wanna make sure we portray some more shit this episode. Now Baldrim, the fool has just gone on an adventure it looks like. Now I'll just wait a little bit with that battle. Yeah, you're still on your way aren't you? Yes. Now, yes. these guys, Deep Hallow. Ah, poor, poor Tenlanders. Heroid is also here. Them. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Deep Hallow is Victory. back in our hands. Let's Another get a shrine. Falls us. And I suppose, yes. let's just merge those units. An order. My lord. Yes. As you command. Now these guys can't uh, approach us properly, so that's nice. Now Agendar. Oh, those guys are so scary. Wow. We're going to be able to attack anything we send over this uh, place, aren't we? Now, could we lure these guys somewhere? Oh, jeez. We have like a reach for every unit we can possibly have. Kaloniak is completely here. emptied. Alright, we'll just have to risk it, boys. At least they can't attack from both sides. So they're probably going to get some of our units. It just depends on what kind of units they're getting. But the pain in the ass, they definitely are. Ah. Let's get the town guard. Let's get some more units out of here. 
Now up here, Gundabad is about to get fucked. Oh, sorry that I said it again. Sorry guys. Four more units. Ah oh, yeah, that's the army I want to see boys. Just look at how the next episode is going to be. Amazing boys. Amazing. Alright. You guys are holding up well. Afanasir, you have a new task. Bring this. Oh yeah, it's an white. Only Agendar have a task at the moment. Ah yeah, I suppose uh, Bunuan is going back for his uh, target we actually set out to go for. Let's just get some more units here. This faction is so ridiculously OP. Okay, um, let's just... I'll fight this off camera and I'll be right back. Now you see the dwarves are extra spicy. The wargs love them because they're so large and fat and their bones is extra thick. So, it was just a slot. Just look at how eager these wargs are for eating dwarves. Just leave their capes left and armor. But the entirety of their bodies is just completely gone. It's only the general which is fighting bravely. He's not even, he's just trying to hold off all this horde of wargs. 100 and... Yeah, 70. I, I can't really calculate. Why Why are we losing wargs? That's so stupid. Alright, let's just bring them out and just bring down this guy. Please. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. That was all that was needed. But Balrim is gone. Now the hope for the blue. The dwarves are very blue. I keep saying the blue dwarves. This, this kind of armor is so weird. The eagles are coming. I'm kind of hyped about this campaign. It's, it's really fun at the moment. We're just steamrolling everyone. By your command. Yes. Now let's Looking see if they actually order. attack us. Wow. You, like these guys, they look like... Yeah, they're not a big deal, very small number, but when they are unleashed, just look at their fury boys. They're dangerous. Why can't I? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, you took down Paladin. And we need more generals, where are you? Eonan. Eonan, Eoman, that's all the names we get. Now, will they attack us or will we see the siege of Mithlon? That remains to be the question. But we will definitely. Yeah, perhaps. Are they not even attacking? We're just going to attack it then, and then we can see the siege, which is awesome. Siege of Mithlon. The Grey Havens. No elf, no, no elf is longer permitted to leave for the Undying Lands. Which is quite nice, I should say. Then Sauron would be pretty happy about us. Now the Dun Landings, not far off is their Dune. And Gundabad as well. They're going to struggle big time. Dolgal Dor besieged. Drangle the Liar. Bring down Megildu. Oh, they're getting a large garrison. But we just have to see this, boys. We have to. This is not what we really should do. We should just let them attack us. But I've heard a lot of complaining about me not showing siege battles. And I agree. So let's see this battle for Mithlond, the Great Haven. Alright, I will see you in the battlefield. Let's hope that we can actually pull this off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're here, boys. Mithlond, the Great Haven of... Western Eredor or, or Lindon you could perhaps say now let's look at these real elite units they have to offer uh, I'm just shaking just by the sight of these guys now it looks actually that we can go up here but I highly doubt it 
but if that would be possible can't move the path is obstructed let's just check it out with Drango it would be quite cool if that actually worked out but uh, in the meantime we are just sending our general not our general but just a unit to bring down the gates wow this road yeah I guess that makes sense <laughs> Wow, this is really cool. The detail right here. The stairs up to this tower. It's beautiful. Now, it doesn't look like they're really going to assist. Or are they? Yeah, they're actually sending over some units. Now, we are just going to let our trash do the first job. Let's just bring these guys over here. And let's see what Drango is doing. He can't really move over here, I suppose. I highly doubt it. Let's see. Now he can't move over there. All right. Well, he will be used properly inside the city then. The gate with the Same battery. with these guys. Now I think it's about time we bring these buggers a little bit closer. The nobleman of Rudar. Oh, Teleri Bowman. Shit. Teleri guards. Shit. These guys. Let's take a look at their stats. Six missile attack. That's not. Yeah, okay, it's pretty good. Uh, the Ethereum Rangers had better, but they still have some very decent melee stacks. Teleri guards, 11 attack, that hurts. That's really good. And 16 defense. Really good stats. Now we just gotta rush in and bring these Teleri Bowmen silent because they will cause so much harm to us. It's not even funny. These Barawats, they shall slaughter some elf. Some elf. Why is it? I keep say, say, saying elf. That's very frustrating. Oh, these guys are actually going to go up on the towers. And then these arrow towers are going to be loaded. That's going to hurt. Now, you guys definitely want to go over here. The battering ram has done its work. Alright, we'll just have to rush the city. That's going to be the most profitable. Oh, Jesus, they have ballista towers. Now, that can probably hurt us quite much. Oh, they're already starting firing us. Alright, now the conscripts need to take down the artillery guards. Artillery bowmen, actually. Uh, get in, get in, get in, before these guys... Yeah, they're going to catch you, aren't they? aren't they? No, they're going to go straight for the towers. Okay, just run in. Run in, boys. We just need to surround these guys as quickly as possible. Now it's about time we send some pikemen to this choke point. Run, run for your lives. You guys, just go straight into this place. They're going to use their arrow towers, which is going to be very unfortunate for us. Now, uh, we, we just gotta surround these guys. L just look at the conscripts getting completely crushed. Were these guys armor piercing? No, they weren't. Okay, great. That, that, that's at least one thing that will not help them. Alright, in the meantime, wargs, let's get in here, boys. Let's get some elven flesh. That's the tastiest flesh you can possibly get. Oh, jeez, even these guys are getting targeted. Alright, it's about time we send in some troops here. Oh, these guys are getting crushed. Ah, oh, Teleri guys is actually starting to fall now. That's very good. Just get these guys doing a kind of curve movement. So that they will not get crushed. These guys are getting targeted, I don't know by whom. These guys look very, very... Uh, they're they're ready for the wargs to be honest. All right, pikes. Let's uh, prepare ourselves for these elven defenders, shall we? Wargs, just get out of there. Get in, get in, boys, get in. Actually, Drango could be quite useful to target these guys. Now, look at these guys. This is going to be a nice strategy. You've probably seen it before, or you possibly haven't. But just look at this. This is what you want to play in 
like reports and such. When you're playing online battles, you want to do this. This works out very well. All right, our units are streaming into Mithlon, ready to sack and pillage and murder. You guys go over here now. Oh dear, the, the Phallus Lords. God help us. All right, uh, we definitely need to give the, these Sindar cavalry. Where are they? They are beastly units. You guys go over here. Now let's see. Yeah, they're starting to fall apart, aren't they? Now we we need every unit we can inside here now. At this point, just get them in. Just get them in. And where is you? All right, go for the Sindar cavalry. You guys just give them some spicy. Oh, 16, top defense, 11 attack. These guys are dangerous. Alright. Now the Phallus Lords, the bodyguard unit. They are also beastly. 35 total defense it has. If that says anything to you. Now these guys are going to get crushed by them, so there's no point in sending in them. But if we first give this Sinner Cavalry something to eat, that will definitely help. Oh no, they're already... That was not a good plan. Now all of you guys are going to target these guys instead. And this, uh, these works are going to target the Phallus Lords. That's going to be an excellent target. Now, you are just doing a very nice job where you're currently at. You guys go in. And where is our Angrim infantry? They are... Here. Oh yeah, they're engaged. You guys just hit these Elven Defenders and these guys. Alright, you get out of there. That was really bad. Now using these Barrow Whites against these guys is going to be very good. Oh, these guys actually fell apart quite quickly. Now just send them over there. Now we need more units on the way. Where are these guys? They are, they are on their way. Let's get them over here, and you guys, with our savages, let's let's target these guys as well. Now you guys can start taking on these elven defenders, which is actually charging straight towards you. So you might want to back out a little bit. Just go around here. We're actually going to start uh, sending some arrows into these house. Where's the fellas squads? Yeah, they're going to destroy you anyway. Just look at them. Now these guys are prepared. Let's give this Sinar Cavalry a nice charge. Just look at the Teleri Bowmen that have been completely devastated by Drangu. So the plan worked out very well. Now these guys are going to get shredded. Now you guys, how much armor does these guys have? Yeah, seven. It's alright. We're armor piercing. That's going to work out pretty nicely, but we just wanted to occupy some units. You hit there, and you guys just go into the town. Oh! You can actually flank around here, just stand right here and give them some arrows in the back. That's excellent. Now you guys don't want to stand idle over here. Rush into the city. Start pillaging. What are you waiting for? Oh yeah. Of course you're going to ruin my plans. Let's run them over here. Let's get them there. We're actually seeing a siege battle for once. Phallus Lords are falling apart. These Barrowites are so powerful against those guys. Yeah, that's excellent. Now you guys don't really need to stand here anymore. You're going to be needed here, boys. And of course you are our great general. So I want you to get some glory. You're going to capture the settlement. Oh, all of these pikes are going to be very handy. This army was very well comp had a very well composition, to be honest. Actually, you might want to go around here and flank. You guys are now idle. Drango, let's get over here. Oh, these guys were charged. Now nah, we're just going to send in all the pikes. They're going to do the work we need them. We want them to do. You guys just charge in there. Drangu, let's get out of there. You guys are going to charge in into the backs of the Phallus Lords. The Barrowites are such powerful units. Such a powerful unit. 
Right, let's take out the pikes. You guys are going to stand like here, and you are going to come around like here. These guys can just keep firing, and you guys will actually go in the back and fire into the backs once they engage the pikemen. Let's get the general down. Let's just charge into there, shall we? Where's Drango? Still idle over here. Let's go, boys. You guys, yeah, fire straight into those. And you fire straight into. Yeah, you're out of ammo now. Drango, you're going to do some charges. And probably use up your ammo first. And you could also do some charges. You, Javi. Javi Cav, you're quite powerful. These elves are soon to be dead. Now, Drango, let's give these guys a charge. Uh, it's probably best to give them a charge from there. Ah, there he goes. That's a very cool bodyguard in it. Let's give those buggers a charge. Same with Drango. Mount Graham Raiders. There we go. Bring them out again. Now you guys could just run th straight through. Just give them probably some th something to think about. Just completely surround them. Now these guys are actually successful over here. Let's bring them over here and let's just flank them entirely. Now we could actually save some of those wargs. Django can do the heavy work here. Alright, let's just speed this up now at this point. Alright, as well. Just bring everyone here. Let the glory be glory. Oh jeez, Jungle, don't die. Right, now you will die. No longer command the city. Bit of a mess here in the end. Doesn't really matter. We captured the city. We lost a lot of our army, but it was worth it. It was a nice battle and I really enjoyed it. And I hope you did as well. Now, what's left at this point? Probably some kind of units. Yeah, there we go. 779 lost, 796 kills. We actually killed more than we lost in such a battle. Drago got a lot of kills at those Teleri um, Bogard units, or whatever. Not Bogard, I don't remember. Teleri boss, I don't know. But Mithlon is ours. We're going to sack it. And. The elves can no longer ship units, or ship elves, I should say, to um, the Undying Lands. And the Witch King will sweep in from the western side, and this faction will not live for very long, definitely. Victory! Victory! Yeah, I suppose we could now sack this place. Us, there we go. How much do we make now? Just 6,000? Uh, it's because of all of our armies. Wow. A lot of speaking today. I actually recorded the Gondor and Guide this same day. And I'm quite tired now. But uh, it ended very successfully. Now the Witch King is just going to head. Alright, we'll have to wait a little bit with that battle. But he's just going to head out for the last settlements. And the towers. Yeah, they are. They don't have much left, do they? We could almost make this faction extinct by this point. My lord. You will probably be needed down here wish. instead. Orders. And you can head out there by as well. Command. Continuing tomorrow. Yes. Moving to crush the enemy. to take down Mitchell Delving. Oh, and the white hold this place now. Didn't know that. My lord. As you will, your will, my lord. 
he didn't actually attack any of these armies. That's very good. I will be able to actually crush Keloniak. Yes, my lord. We'll just send his army right here and then we're just going to do the negotiations in the same turn and then just crush them actually. North guard boys! Uh, the <laughs> next episodes are going to be so exciting. I hope you are enjoying this. Just look at what we're doing now at this point. Let's get the Mount Grand Stables. We're having the units we want boys. But yeah, I, I really need to take a break now. I'm really tired. Um, I will fix some micromanagement all over the map. So you don't have to watch that for the next episode. And we will see some nice battles. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that we <laughs> took out all of these settlements. Be able to take this settlement back in a turn. And now it's the defense of Mithron which will start. That's going to be interesting. And the Witch King, let's see how he performs on this side. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Subscribe, leave a like, support me via Patreon if you like. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.